Many companies today are documenting APIs after the fact, a constant game of catch up. We have a solution, but our solution requires an open API definition. But what is open API and how do we get started using it? This video will answer those questions. It's about installing the tools and getting ready for OpenAPI. So what is OpenAPI? OpenAPI is a standard specification that allows people to describe web APIs. Describing your APIs would be called an OpenAPI definition. In this video, we'll show you the tools we recommend and how to start a new OpenAPI definition. So how do I create an open API definition? There are many different ways to create an open API definition. Before we get started, we are going to use a few tools. VS Code, an editor, GitHub, a Git-based source control service, NPM and Node.js, a package manager, for installing Redockly's software. You could use different software, but these are my favorites. Step one, browse to the Redockly OpenAPI starter repository and click use this template. This will create a repository for your OpenAPI definition. Give your new repository a name. Step two, clone the repository. There are all kinds of ways to clone the repository. I am most familiar with the command line. I copy the URL and type git clone and paste the URL in there and hit enter. This clones the repository to my device. Step three, Familiarize with the repository. Let's first look at the commands in the package.json file. There is a start, test, and build command. These all map to commands from Redockly OpenAPI CLI. Redockly OpenAPI CLI can also be installed globally, which is my personal preference. Let me show you how I install or update to the latest or next version of OpenAPI CLI. Confirm it worked by typing OpenAPI dash dash version in the command line, and you can see the version that is installed. There is one special file which interacts with OpenAPI command line tool, as well as Redockly's web app, which is the .redockly.yaml file. It starts with a dot and may be hidden from view depending on your file system. We'll open it and take a quick look, but we won't make any changes to it yet. The first section has the path to the root file of the API definition. There could be multiple lines added here if you follow a mono repo architecture with multiple API definitions. That's it for this video. To summarize, you should have a repository ready to go. In another video, we'll cover how to add an endpoint known as a path item in OpenAPI. Thank you.